There is a new plan to protect Chicago's lakefront. NBC 5's Kate Chappell tells us about the brand new Shoreline Advisory Board. Protecting Chicago's vulnerable shoreline is the mission of a new advisory board in the city. We want to just have a proactive management plan. The idea? The brainchild of 49th Ward Alderwoman Maria Haddon as storms wreaked havoc along the lakefront in 2019. I was um, shocked. Uh, I think as most people who get into government, you learn you're shocked to learn that, wait, you guys don't have like a regular meeting. You don't regularly coordinate on like the most important feature that we've got here in the city. Chicago City Council unanimously passed the ordinance to establish the Chicago Shoreline Advisory Board last month. Their duties to review shoreline conservation management plans, facilitate public education, research, assess, and advise on plans to protect the shoreline, and recommend proposed policies, all overseen by the Department of Environment. Especially as we keep seeing more frequent and more severe um, weather events, we have to think about things like lake level rise. And is our infrastructure prepared for that? Twelve members will make up the cross-agency collaborative board, including three non-governmental organizations appointed by the mayor. The Illinois Environmental Council, which represents 120 nonprofit organizations across the state, hopes to be one. When you have everyone in the same room, that means things can get done a lot more faster. And I also think it provides a public forum for people to actually see how things are being done. The first agenda item, feedback and recommendations to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in response to its comprehensive study on what to do with the last eight miles of unprotected shoreline. It's just too important to leave to chance, to leave to reactive responses. The ordinance takes effect in June of next year, and the public will be able to weigh in at the board's quarterly meetings. In Rogers Park, Kate Chappell, NBC5 News.